Hello, welcome uh, parents of Leo children. This is your tarot treat for the week of uh, April 10th through the 16th. We're gonna find out um, what are the energies that are impacting your Leo child and how you relate to them. I'm available for uh, personal experience. Uh, you know, if you want a reading with me personally, um, that information is gonna be in the description below. Oh, you don't, I don't think, oh, before I, okay. I thought I was done. So for Leo kids this week, they have the star in reverse, the two of pentacles uh, in reverse, the, oh, the magician in reverse, and they have the knight of pentacles. So I feel like um, something is, a good thing is coming to a close. This to me almost feels like the start in the upright with wish fulfillment. It was like they they were wishing on a star or something that they wanted. I feel like it's been completed or they've received it. They got it. Um, I'm not getting any sense that there's like a negative impression. Um, the two of pentacles coming out of indecision, coming out of waiting, coming out of juggling something. So I feel that there's some clarity about whatever it is that they were hoping for, working on. The magician, I, I, I don't see it as something like um, their abilities to create have been thwarted. I feel like they have created um, with this card in reverse and they're like reaping the benefits of it. And so with the Knight of Pentacles, it, to me, it's like it's still something uh, in process. It hasn't grown to be a king per se, but it's it's something, it's a small off or a, a medium and average size offering. It's like if, you know, your child did their best work, um, but it's not at the level of a mature adult, but they're very proud of what they've created. They put in a lot of hard work on this project, whatever it is, they're just really excited about it. Um, very proud of themselves for what they accomplished this week and um, they should be they they did a really good job I'm proud of them I don't even know specifically what it is but I feel um, they put a lot of hard work into something they 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 thought there was a lot of critical thinking on their own um, a lot of investment mental energy investment a lot of time a lot of creativity that they put into it and they they're finally done and, and they have like a really nice project to show for it. So kudos to them. Okay, now let's start with your uh, your Aries parents. Uh, Aries parents in relation, you have the four of cups. So you two are coming out of an indecision about something. I don't know specifically what this is, but I feel like this is like external base work. Um, a career direction or some kind of external direction that you had to take as it pertains to where you want your life to go, Aries parents. And I feel like you are coming out of that stagnant, I don't know, energy, indecisive energy, whatever. But it's like, all right, you got a clear picture. You know exactly what you want. And I, I see you taking action and moving forward this week. Taurus parents in relation, you were coming out of some stuck energy as well. Whatever um, thing that was it, it's it's like this is already done and I really feel like you're on the upswing you're using the lessons that you learned from this to like really propel you forward um and you have a lot of good vibes uh, a lot of great insights a lot of confidence a lot of uh, like above mind thinking that negative energy is not able to impact you you just feel like really high-minded really above challenges this week Gemini parents, you have the nine of cups. A lot of good energy so far. Hope it continues. Do I have some wood to knock on? There we go. Um, but just wish, I mean, it's not even wish fulfillment, but all your ducks are in the row. Positive energy. You're celebrating. You just, you're, you're in a good space. And like, I see you using that happy, joyous energy to share with your, um, with your Leo child. Okay, so moving on to Cancer parents, you have the tower in reverse, all good energy. I think everybody in this household, there was some strain or some stress right now. 
um, or not right now, but in, in the recent past, there was some strain or some stress that finally is like you got clarity moving forward. Um, and rightfully so, as we come into a Mercury retrograde or we're in the shadow period right now, um, probably when you guys see this, um, this is, this is good. Whatever. I feel like this is healing some, whatever upset, whatever, you know, sudden shift, um, it's, it's the dust is settling and you're able to see clearly about what direction you need to go. This is specifically to about you, like a lesson that you learned or you're processing and using for your internal and personal benefit. Um, Leo parents with Leo children, of course, you have the king of swords. Uh, so you are like taking decisive action. You have clear thoughts. This is great. I don't know what this is, but it just feels like a consistent reading that everybody so far was just in some kind of stuck energy. And they're like, okay, we, we're turning on a light. Um, and uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah. I know that we're in Aries season right now, but we've we were in the second decan, which is, you know, co-ruled by Leo. So I'm not sure if now that we're moving to like Sagittarian, uh, the Sagittarian decan, that everybody is experiencing like this abundance or this expansion. Um, but yeah, I I see you, you saying some words at work um, for whoever this is for. Um, I wouldn't say, po I wouldn't, I'm not saying promotion, but your words will catch the attention of people um, that will later connect with you um, and start, you know, some, some business stuff, some good business conversations from that point. Um, moving on to Virgo parents, you're coming out of stuck energy as well. So whatever wasn't serving you, whatever was dead, um, there is a transformation, a revitalization, a renewal happening for you. Um, and I, I feel this is personal. So while your child is celebrating this, you're getting rid of stuck energy so that you can be a better support for them. Libra parents, you have the emperor in reverse. You're taking a break. You're not moving. Um, I feel that for however this impacts you, it's like you're processing um, something good or some some positive. I mean, it's it's not negative. There's just some kind of information that you now need to sit with, sit with, pause, evaluate, which you will do and use that before making a decision so it's, it's something that you have to wait on and you can't make a decision on yet i'm not really getting a feeling that this pertains to your child i feel like your child is going to come to you with a question that is going to be involved with this scenario where you, you got to contemplate it like oh i got accepted to so-and-so and then you need to figure out the logistics or something of how that's going to work out how you're going to get them there or can you fit this into your schedule to be able to transport them or whatever the case may be scorpio parents you have uh the luminary um this is a new card in this deck so i'm just going to go look for it because to me it reminds me of the star card but i don't want to say the wrong thing um oh Thank you, universe. You put it right up front. So revealing the unseen hope, guiding light. Um, yeah, it's a warmth and vibrant energy. To me, it, it reminded me of the star, like intuitively. Um, yeah, yep. You're, you're going to do what you do best. You see the darkness uh, that everybody can't see well or clearly or as as fast and you're using that information uh to point you in a a light field positive direction so i feel like this is more your child is going to bring you information and what you will see like the the pockets the gaps and you're going to use that information to better set both of you guys up for a better direction uh, as it pertains to whatever this is with your Leo child. But 
you guys are both fixed signs so there's some kind of understanding there granted yes you two probably bump heads because they're fixed water or no you're fixed water they're fixed fire um but overall good energy Sagittarian parents and can in relation to your Leo child you have the seven of swords um you're being sneaky about something <laughs> there's some information that you uh are not sharing you're yeah you're keeping certain things to yourself and this doesn't necessarily feel like a bad energy it's just like you know something but you're not telling it uh, which is good and I feel like this is like a surprise or something as it pertains to your Leo child uh, maybe something that you have planned for them but I don't feel like this is someone being sneaky towards you I feel like you're being the sneaky person or you're keeping something uh secret um because you got something um something a surprise plan Sagittarians I feel like to do that be careful though, because we are clumsy. I'm a Sagittarius son. Um, we sometimes put our foot in our mouth and give, you know, secrets away or like nuggets of something. We maybe, you know, have that uh, that's possible to happen. So just be mindful while you're sitting up there like, oh, this is going to be good. I can't wait to do this. That you, you know, watch your, you cover your tracks be mindful that you don't leave any details about what you're planning behind for somebody to pick up on and then spoil the surprise. Capricorn parents, you have the Ace of Swords. Um, I see this as, as a, I see this as a breakthrough, breaking new ground, something new, a new innovative project that you are embarking on. This is separate from your child this is something that you've been mulling over for some time that is really meaningful to you and what you are doing in this season is like taking those steps to build that make sure though I'm, I'm sensing don't let this take away from your uh, relationship with your child so always while you're working on this beautiful project don't um take your focus off your child because I see that possible to happen if you don't because your child is like look what I made look what I made and wanting your attention and you're like but I'm working on this right now or I got this going on over here give me a minute I'll talk to you later or whatever so just be mindful this week that you're not ignoring your child or not making more importantly that you're not making space uh, to celebrate them um, and giving them the attention that they desire aquarius parents you have the eight of wands so some good uh some good news some good information some good communication coming for you um could be financial job related some kind of like oh you got accepted or you know into like some kind of program or you you got like the go ahead you, you got something you got, you applied to, apply for. It's not necessarily a job, but it could be a project or something got approved. Um, for some, a credit card. For some, it's some kind of financial thing. You got, you got the go ahead. You got an approval for something that you have been waiting on. And now things can just start to move forward because they had been stagnant or you have been waiting for a seasonal time for this project to go through so whatever it is is some some good communication i feel is coming in your favor we have pisces parents thank god pisces because y'all be carrying <laughs> literally like not but I, it's like the weight of the world you're letting that shit go so enjoy whatever it was you're releasing it you're a sense of freedom a sense of liberation a sense of like clear-headedness light-heartedness and um you're able to you know once you get rid of that you feel light then you're able to give that um more focus to your child who is so excited and so it's they're like look at me look what i got and you're now in a place like yeah you're paying attention to them you're able to give them focus 
All right, parents of Leo children, thank you so much for tuning in. That is your tarot treat for the week of the 10th through the 16th. I love you. Take care. Bye.